the IG, the Inspector General, that his office is independent of any other office. And it was done so by the Constitution intentionally, so that the police is run professionally and in a non-partisan manner. What we are beginning to witness is a police service that is responding to political issues. Let me say for the avoidance of doubt, Mr. IG, as the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, the Government of Kenya has given you every support in terms of resources, in terms of equipment, and the Constitution gives you the mandate on what to do. And you, are, you will squarely be held responsible if the police service ceases to be a professional service and becomes a youth wing for a political party or a political outfit or a political side. You will have nobody to blame because as government of Kenya, we have given you all the resources that are required to run a professional independent police service. Any politician who is not able to run his own politics and requires the use of police or the use of force or the use of violence does not deserve to serve in any office, any political office or indeed any office in Kenya. And therefore we are saying clearly that we do not want the trend that we are seeing that our politics, our elections, a lot of violence is being meted out to ordinary citizens that are innocent while the police are standing and watching. When the police stand and watch while violence is going on in Kenya or in our elections, they cease to be independent and they become accomplices. And therefore we want to sell the IG clearly that he needs to up his game and time is running out.